again. Welcome back to the Football Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at Renault.co.uk. And we start with Liverpool's Fernando Torres. Reports in Germany are suggesting both Bayern Munich and Inter Milan are keen to rescue him from his unhappy pet spell at Liverpool this month. Reds fans, would you sell now or do you back Kenny Dalglish to put a smile back onto the Spanish striker's face? Still the transfer activity centres around Spurs, still they're trying to sign David Beckham and still the sticking point is the midfielder's wages and the length of time Bex is going to be in London. Spurs want him until mid-March but Galaxy want him back on February the 10th. Beckham's willing to take a pay cut in order to stay in London. Watch this space to see if he does succeed in his bid to become a Spurs player. The North London is also in for a signing set to surprise everyone. Phil Neville, the captain of Everton. He's 33 and Spurs working on a deal that could see him move to the lane on an 18-month deal. Why Spurs are looking at players that old is beyond me, but they do need defensive options and Neville is very, very versatile indeed. He can play in the middle of the park or at fullback if need be. Spurs also monitoring Mark Van Bommel at Bayern Munich who is the same age. AC Milan have entered the race for him and Man City also very keen indeed on him. And then there will be some youth at White Hart Lane. We still understand Spurs' interest in the 23-year-old Ajax striker Luis Suarez is very much on. Also remember Steven Pienaar is only 28. Uh, Spurs trying to do a deal with him with his contract expiring in the summer. But Chelsea have emerged as the big dangers with Carlo Ancelotti making an inquiry for the midfielder. Now, word is reaching us here at the 22nd floor that Wayne Bridge at Man City is undergoing a medical at West Ham. They hope to have him registered in time on loan to play against Arsenal on Saturday. France Football are reporting this morning that West Ham are also keen on the PSG striker Peggy Leundula. And The Express is reporting today that Manchester United are keen on the Sunderland goalkeeper Craig Gordon as the successor to Edwin van der Sar. He's a quality player, but it cost around £15 million. Would United pay that much for him? Time for your messages, and you are inundating us here on the 22nd floor. Thank you very much indeed. Brian Badondi wants some info on Newcastle transfers. Well, we know that they're close to doing a deal uh, with Birmingham for the midfielder Sebastian Larson, but they do look to have missed out on Robbie Keane with Spurs keen to do a swap deal with Everton for Pina. Man United Rooney wants, uh, reckons Arsenal would be pretty scary with Mexis and Vermeulen at the back when he's back from injury. He does add, however, I wouldn't be surprised if Wenger was too cheap to pay the £4 million pounds that Mexis would cost. Uh, to Abbas, there's no truth linking Barcelona midfielder Sergio Busquets with the move to Manchester United. To Saran, Arsenal very keen on the Bolton defender Gary Cahill, but it seems the delay in making a move is because Bolton are busy trying to sign a replacement placement in the form of the Middlesbrough defender David Wheater. Uh, just going through some more of your messages, trying to find some we haven't done uh, already. To all of you asking me about the Football Spy Files, lots of you asking me to do a Football Spy Files on your clubs, we only do them outside of the transfer window, so wait until after January. To McClemmer, I wouldn't worry too much about the lack of transfer activity involving Chelsea. Most clubs tend to wait until the last week of the window and it's a fair bet that Chelsea will be one of them. Also, uh, just a word to Aaron Cross, John Perry, uh, Barry Morris, Karthik Chandramuli, Gaspar Kayotel, lots of you being in touch on Facebook. Uh, thanks very much indeed. Uh, we'll have a competition later for you in the show. And uh, now is European Roundup time. There's been lots of interest around Europe in this man. His name is Edison Cavani. He's a 23-year-old striker who plays for Napoli. He had a, ma a magnificent hat-trick against Juventus at the weekend to take his tally to 20 goals in 27 games this season. The Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis has claimed that he would turn down a bid worth 50 million euros for Edison Cavani. But that hasn't stopped the player from being linked to Inter Milan, AC Milan, Man United, Chelsea and Tottenham. The Chelsea attacker Fabio Borini appears to be on the verge of a move to Parma, according to his agent. Valencia have confirmed that Bobo Baldi has left the club to join French strugglers Arles. Uh, Genoa have confirmed that they are chasing the signature of the Wigan athletic striker Mauro Baselli. And Tutto Sport in Italy are reporting that the experienced defender Andrea Barzagli is on the verge of leaving Wolfsburg in Germany to return to Italy with Juventus.
he had an expiring contract at Wolfsburg, by the way, but he's reluctant to sign a new deal, and that's why he's moving on. Let's take you back to England for some championship news, and there apparently has been uh, some serious money for Preston's Sean St. Ledger at, uh, from West Brom. Leeds are still waiting to hear whether Spurs will loan them the defender Jonathan Woodgate. Cardiff are waiting to see if fullback Adam Matthews will sign a new deal. The Bluebirds also want the Blackpool defender Del Canaan from QPR, and the Daily Star is reporting that Doncaster are set to sign the Sunderland defender Matt Kilgallen on loan. Back to the Premier League and Fulham are keen on the £4 million signing of Sean Wright Phillips from Manchester City. Going to be interesting to see where he plays as Simon Davis has done a good job on the right uh, for the Cottagers. The Turkish club Galatasaray keen to sign Arsenal keeper Manuel Almunia according to Goal.com. Aston Villa say they've not given up a hope of signing the Leon midfielder Jean Lacoon who'd cost around £7 million pounds. He says though that he had some other very concrete offers and very best of luck to Aston Villa there. Now before we go, lots and lots of you have been asking for a competition here on the Football Spy Show, so here goes. There are three huge televised clashes here in England in the Premier League on Sunday. Birmingham play Aston Villa, Liverpool play Everton and Spurs face Manchester United. We want to know the total number of goals that will be scored in all three matches. So if it's 1-0 in the first game, 0-0 nil -nil in the second and 3-2 in the third, then the total number of goals, as you know, is six. Tell us the total number of goals that will be scored in all three televised games here in England on Sunday and you will win the Premier League shirt of your choice. Now remember, include your shirt size when you enter, also where you're getting in touch from, and uh, you can get in touch via email, spy at mirror.co.uk, Twitter, YouTube, Mirror Football, or Facebook. The Football Spy Show is back tomorrow. We'll see you next time.